Hey everybody, it's Riku Go, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of my life. We're doing an awesome vlog. What's very interesting is that we're going to Emba to look at a very, very nice villa there. A friend of mine, he just moved here to Cyprus and he's looking for villas to rent. And I'm going to show a little bit to you what he's looking at, what you can get here for a little bit of a higher budget. So it's definitely going to be awesome. Let's go! Okay, so this property is definitely on another level, I must say, but thus the price is also on another level. They are currently somewhat negotiating for the price. Uh, it's something between five and six thousand euros per month if you're renting it long term. It's a lot of money. Chris is still thinking about it because we also saw some awesome houses and villas for literally less than half of that money but obviously this is definitely luxurious new modern and you have that unique view i can really imagine how awesome the lifestyle is you just wake up and you have that view here imagine drinking a coffee there reading a book oh my god but is it really worth the money for some people maybe but for some people it's definitely you can be happy here just as happy as in a 500 year apartment a month so if it's for business purposes and you really need it go for it but otherwise invest the money somewhere else maybe or do you agree with that or not let me know if you have 5000 euros a month that you could invest in such a property would you do it like i'm really curious let me know in the comments Okay, I must say this entry room right here is probably the best part of this apartment with the view because downstairs there are literally just bedrooms as well as a bathtub inside of the ground but yeah it's okay it's not like there's a sauna in here or tennis field which you can actually almost expect for five to six thousand euros a month or not <laughs> And guys, really don't get me wrong, I love beautiful properties and I will probably live in a big and beautiful property in the future, but it must be a hell yes. Everything that is not a hell yes is a hell no. How do you like it? Very nice. It's amazing. It's an amazing view. That's true. That's probably the highlight of this property. Yeah. Chris thinking, should I buy this or should <laughs> I just rent it? That's really cool. Okay, this is a perfect position for my camera. I will leave it there now whenever I'm in the car so I can talk and drive. And right now I'm standing in front of Robert's apartment. He's a friend of mine. He was also messaging me because of the YouTube videos. He wanted to move to Cyprus and I helped him with everything. Also, the guy that you just saw, Chris, he's a friend, mentor and a business partner of mine. And I talked with Chris about the house, the villa, and I just gave him my opinion and he agreed that it's too, it's too expensive. First things first, and that is I need a coffee and a croissant right now. So I will go with Robert to get the coffee and to get the croissant. So let's wait for Robert and let's go and start into the working day. Welcome Yo. to the Mafia car. Hey, Yanis. <laughs> We're currently walking in Paphos Center. 
and it's so cool that you already know some people and you just meet them and you just greet them. Let's get some jam for Robert. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Café Neyroid with a nice view and the view is actually here but you preferably want to see it in the summertime because now I'm slowly regretting that I didn't take a jacket with me. It's getting cold. It's like 12 degrees or so. I'm looking at the watch to see how many, what the temperature is but it's something around 12 degrees and I would prefer to have a jacket right now and that is actually the view that I meant over there. Oops, now you can see it. It's like all over Paphos. But let me get back inside as the temperature is super cozy and warm in there. There is one Cafinero in Limassol, they have a fireplace. I really want to go there again because I used to live in Limassol and I used to love that Cafinero. And I will show it to you whenever I will be in Limassol again. But let's go inside. First, let's start into the working day. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Robert. Let's go. Chris is the guy who's always in calls. <laughs> All right, welcome to the office. Okay, first working day. First working day for you? Here, yeah. That's cool. Nice. And you actually have a year here that you can stay here and work. Yeah. So I'm excited about how you like it. You can, by the way, also go on the first or second floor. There are much more spaces because it looks a little bit busy. But I like this floor because you can see the street and it's somewhat calming to me to see the cars driving by. I really like to work here. I must admit I really enjoy doing these lifestyle vlog videos. However, I'm definitely not the best in it yet. So <laughs> the videos will always get better, especially with the brightness. It's something that I need to learn first. I even bought a new camera to upgrade the quality. But you also need to know how to use the camera. And sometimes the videos are too bright and sometimes too dark. So I'm figuring out now so that you get the best possible quality. Actually, I'm doing a little lunch break now. I will eat something and I will go to my accounting firm to bring them some signed documents. Um, I'm incorporating a new company with a business partner of mine, Chris actually. You just met him, it's the guy that looked at the big property today. We are planning a very interesting project and I'm excited to tell you about it once it's established and incorporated. Um, do you want to hear more business things that I'm doing or not? Or should I stay with Cyprus? But just showing and sharing a little bit more of my life is interesting, I think. Um, just how I make my money, how I invest my money let me know guys i need to drive now many people ask me if it's if it's difficult compared to central europe where you drive on the right side of the road and i must say it's basically the same once you're getting used to it in the beginning it might be a little bit weird uh, i recommend to just try out a small and slow road in the beginning somewhere in the city and then when you're used to it you can just drive normally and it's basically the same just on the other side so don't have fear and it's pretty easy and you just need to get comfortable with it after two days it's normal now let's take a walk to the harbor and then driving back to the office This morning was a little bit busy and I couldn't do my breathing exercises. I will actually do it now and this is a perfect spot for it. So I take myself some minutes in the morning or during the day like now where I just sit, breathe in for two seconds heavily and breathe out for five seconds and make a little break.
let's go back to the office. Enough of all that. But I'm feeling much better after these breathing up exercises now. That's a little cutie. <laughs> Look at that cute dog. <laughs> Come here. There's another one. You know that feeling when there is a cat and you just make these noises. <laughs> it's always like that, especially here because there are cats everywhere. Just another one over there. <laughs> And another one. And another one. So I think you get what I mean by many cats. Trading some back as well as biceps. I must say I really need to go back into routine and stick to a system workout plan the past few weeks were heavily focused on business but it's good as well to have some weeks with a focus on business and the other weeks trying to rebalance it and uh, really looking forward to show you some of my routine systems in the future to show you how you can perform excellence in many different life areas because many people think that you can only be good at this or that which is true in some way, but you shouldn't close some doors for something that is important and fitness and health is obviously important. So e, it doesn't matter how high or how important your business is, you should never neglect your health. You should always try to balance multiple different life areas. <laughs> Hope you know what I mean. So while I was working out downstairs, I actually forgot that the sun is already setting. So I was a little bit shocked that everything is dark here and no one except us is here in the office anymore. And Chris just finished his hopefully last call today. How many hours of calls did you have today? I actually cannot tell. I have to calculate. But like we it was like 10 hours, right Valeria? It was, yes. nearly, it was nearly 11. <laughs> It was, hours working, right? it was insane. <laughs> you just finished your last call, and what are we going to do now? What do you need? I need to eat. Yes. This is the first, like, did we eat something today? Lions need food. Okay, this is the place we hopefully will eat at. Let's see. I'm craving a big burger right now. I don't know why. How are you? I'm craving anything with calories. I'm bringing something right now. Thank you so much. It's absolutely the same. Yeah. Just with less metal. It's really cool. Actually, I love that it's less furniture. Uh, yes. And I like the, that it's a lot of glass. So, Chris, what do you think about that compared to yesterday? Oh, it's a better one. It's a better one, and the price is fitting. <laughs> such, such a coincidence. Hey, we're like filming each other. <laughs> Filmception. <laughs> It's so funny because literally we can even see the pool from the other one over there and it is exactly the same. Same awesome infinity pool, same terrace and also yeah a little bit furniture but <laughs> you can just buy all the furniture with two months of the rent that you would have paid over there and then you have high quality furniture here which is perfect for this house and I'm so happy because ah, 
I just went to the Facebook marketplace even though Chris already found some nice houses and then I went to the Facebook marketplace and I saw this image and I saw 2.5 and I was like wait isn't it 6,000 and then I messaged the guys first and I called them and we immediately arranged the call so we just I just messaged them one hour ago and we are already here taking a view and let's see if Chris likes this one more for this better price but let yesterday we even talked to each other the price the fair price for this is two to three thousand not five six thousand and happily we found something just next to the house from yesterday guys imagine you wake up right here and this is the first thing you see in the morning come on <laughs> that's so beautiful oh my god this toilet looks like a pokeball funny there's a garden let's check the garden guys and then we're actually outside so you have some space for barbecuing in summer you have a staircase going to the parking spot and you of course have yeah basically the view which is the highlight for all of and those properties wind. even if it's today less windy but uh, yesterday like was windy I checked the audio from the vlog yesterday and the audio from yesterday is actually not that good probably now you will hear me very well and guys I'm just looking at the hill of Peya Cyprus is so beautiful during night this whole building sorry this whole mountain is full of lights of the street lights and people people's houses and here you have the ocean view really really unique building unique properties and I'm very happy to be working with them with such properties and uh, now look at that oh my god okay guys so I'm standing in front of the same building just two rows behind the other one we actually looked at the property over there also here in Cyprus the agency license is not really hard to get Ag actually most of the agents they are just freelancers and they just go to the marketplace themselves pick some properties and then they try to rent it out to other people just add a budget to them and they take their commission as high as possible but they don't really care if they get the best value and the best service for their clients Chris, first impression? Yeah, it's amazing. Nice to hear that. It's really... Yeah. Something you feel comfortable in. Yeah, absolutely. And also feel comfortable with the price. Yes. Okay. And it's probably also a good place to... Like in here, I can see us uh, shooting some video courses. Yes. It's like a different scenario. Yes. Yeah. It has cool. a business benefit, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And this one is a hell yes. Like yeah, it's absolutely hell yes. Having all the variables, putting them together. Okay, how do we do that? I like, I mean, for me, like Rico just said it, it's a hell yes. I, I really like it uh, very, very much. I like the view, I like the, um, yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's, basically everything we were looking for them. during summer probably a lot of people are sliding those slides and staying in that hotel like imagine guys this right here is actually a destination for tourists to come here to enjoy their summer for two or three weeks but you could just also decide and say okay I'm packing my things I'm taking my family my wife my kids with me my friends and I'm moving to another country and I'm living here every day during the year where other people just come here for a short holiday trip and I can stay here and just have this every day like imagine that so that's actually the purpose one of the purposes of my channel to show you guys it can be easy to move to another country it can be cheap you need the right people to ask some questions 
and you just need to have a little bit of courage because in the beginning it feels weird to leave something that is cozy and comfortable something that you know but once you've done it once you're in the plane and land and you're coming to your new house you just know that you've made the right decision at least that's what happened to me and to most people that I help moving yeah guys <laughs> really happy about that to be honest Chris is already talking with the agent about some things he wants to be removed and some new furni furniture that he wants to add here while he's in Russia so it sounds like he's really already planning to move into this beautiful property and uh, I'm very excited to come here as well. He also already mentioned that we should use this property for business purposes, for example, for a video course, for new YouTube videos, and things like that, just photo shootings, because it is an investment. It's still 2.5 thousand euros. Of course, it's much less than, <laughs> but it's still a lot of money. So you should be able to use the investment in order to make more out of it so that it's so that it is an investment because the rent is actually just money if you don't own the property and if you don't have a loan that you put to other people's pockets all right let's see what chris is doing all right chris just between us what is your we take it <laughs> it's like no no question <laughs> And it's very discreet. If you're chilling on the balcony, it's not like the other ones that you have yeah. a neighbor just in front of your face. Mm -hmm. yes. You, yes. you can stand on the balcony naked and <laughs> no one sees you. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Just look at this view. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievably cool. Crazy. Yeah. Cool. Serene. Thank, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Pleasure meeting you both. All three so of you. So we can like... <laughs> We already agreed, like, we won it. Okay. So, okay. like, no other, yes, uh, no other people. <laughs> uh, Enrico, how lucky was that? It was a lucky shot. <laughs> Man, you just said, Chris, I found this property. <laughs> and then, I made an appointment. Go there. Done. The, like, two hours ago, we two didn't hours know ago. <laughs> what property there is going to be. And now, two hours later, you already found your... We, Yes. Maybe new home. No, not maybe. It will be. There's no there's no no in there. I love it. <laughs> okay guys, we are now in the bean house and we have a lot of different coffees from different countries and continents and they even have a real roaster behind me. It smells so much like good coffee in here so after viewing this awesome property and I'm really really happy for Chris and Valeria that they found their property we will now sit down drink and this is basically the video for now and I'm really happy to make more awesome videos in the future thank you very much for watching this video until the end it's always worth it to watch the video until the end because you knew we knew that we'll find something even better subscribe to the channel leave a like and I will see you in the next video